Chapter 36, have mercy upon us, O Lord God of all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon other nations that seek and other thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations, and let them see thy power. As thou wast sanctified us before them, so be thou magnified amongst them before us, and let them know thee, as we have known thee, that there is no God below with thou, O God. Shoot new signs, and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand in the right arm, that thou may set forth thy wondrous works. Raise up indignation and pour it round. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rays of the fire and let them perish to oppress the people. Smite and son of the hands of the rulers of the heathen that say, There is none other but we. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, and it have to have them, as from the beginning. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that are called by thy name, and upon Israel, now is thy their firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles, and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony to those that are possessed from the beginning, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for thee, and let thy prophets be found faithful. O Lord, hear the prayer of thy servants, according to the blessing of Aaron over thy people, that all they which dwell upon the earth may know that thou art the Lord, the eternal God. In your house, Shah's name we pray. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Shalom, shalom. Today's class. Messiah, the Passover has risen already the second time to redeem, sanctify, deliver, and to bring joy. And to bring us joy, man. It's a joyful day to be here on this holy day, this Shabbat right. Passover. Uh, seeing, the, seeing the beautiful garments, dresses. Uh, Lord, we are, you know, one day... We all be doing the same thing. You know, one thing that I see too is uh, the individuals that sisters that took the time out to make their husband garments. Uh, we're gonna have much more, some sewing classes this, this coming year. So uh, we get you other sisters on there too. Uh, but the Messiah, the Passover, Christ is our Passover. We're here again, ain't we? That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, Lord, we are that you'll be here again next year. Because if not, you, you, you're not up under that redeemed, sanctified, delivered, and you won't have that joy. 
you know, a lot of times people don't take this this movement serious. Uh, this is life, being able to see your brothers and sisters. Just think about it out there in the world. The only time we seen functions like this when we was going to big events. You know, we never created nothing like our, this ourselves. Bring it out. You know, you know <clears throat> only thing I can do is get a father and a son a hand, man, for uh, bringing us That's again right. together, waking us up, up this morning. That's right, Let's man. get into the class, man. I know brothers and sisters, we had to celebrate, get some fun, cut a couple carpets. Uh, Messiah, the Passover, we're going to find out Christ has already been here and set this thing, set this, set this thing up for us. So all we got to do is just follow the blueprint, you know. Death is not the end of uh, death is not the end of life. Understand that. We always coming back. See what we doing now, setting it up so when we get back, man, we ain't gotta come back to that world out like there. Give me first Corinthians 15 and 11. Bring it up. We're coming back to a, a blessing house. Man. I would not want to go back out there to that world to none of them homes. Right. None of them. Let's dive into it. And it's going to piggyback off that unleavened. You know, this is not a cooking book. <laughs> we about to, we finding these things out, man. That unleavened is that doctrine, you know. That's what we were dealing with. That's right. See, you know, and that's the hard thing that our people they they get caught on to idols, man. They they and, and things that holds them back. But this is what frees us. Read that I First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 11. Therefore, whether it were I or they, they the apostles read. So we preach. What? So we preach. This is the revealing of Yah read. And so you believe. And so ye believe. You believe. You believe. You know, we got a lot of believing spirits out there. Some that can't be with us here today. Some out there on the East Coast. We got people all around the world watching us. You know, and we pray one day that they come and visit, man. The doors are always open. That's right. The doors are always open for the believers. The believers. Give me Revelations 1 and 1 for the believers. For the believers. We want you to believe, man. This here what makes your life better. This thing here, matter of fact, let me get this rig system right quick. I want you to understand, without Christ, we're going to be dealing with this system. Man. This system here is, is not for us. Read this, our Rig system. Thinking is the hardest word there is, which is, probably, which is probably the reason why so few engage in it. You understand this? This is why so many people engage. This so few. They don't like to think because everything you got is already set out for you That's right. you know when to go to school you know what time to put your children to school you knew what time to get your children shots you knew everything was set up for you but to think for ourselves that's a hard job to do read right. it is one of the greatest challenges to becoming totally free this is how we become free free from bondage free from this system read it leads you to think independently with the spirit of the Messiah. Read on. From the system that controls you. This thing controls us. It tells us what to do, when to do it, how to do it. Read. You live in a world where the system teaches you what to think, but does not teach you how to think. It teaches you what to think, but not how to think for yourself. Bring it up. Christ has given us that independence. That's that independence we looking for. Right. This is what we looking for. Read. This is how the system controls you with your parents. Your, it starts with your parents. Read. School system. That's that's the next step. Read. Religion. That's another part of it. Read. Entertainment. They, hey, you, they, they put you right in front of that iPod now. Read. Sports. Sports. Read. Music. Read on. Advertising. Media. TV. Movies and other means. Hey, these all things to keep us programmed. To keep us thinking one way. Read. Social pressure is used to conform your life. With the system, you are not taught to make decisions on your own. You're not taught to make decisions on your own. You don't think for yourself. A lot of people don't understand these things. Read. They don't want you to think. They don't want you even to start thinking. Read. They want you to think for you. These are the predators manipulating the people for their own selfish benefit. And it's, and it's hard on the mans. That's right. It's really hard on the mans, but the sisters, they're going to follow along because the system was set up for them. That's right. Read on. You are educated just enough to perform your job but never being able to create your own business because of a rig system. You just, you just programmed just to go go punch on a keyboard or drive a forklift. 
or a truck, any of these things that they, they put in front of us. They'll never teach you how to own a business. We yeah. don't. Never seeking to control your own life. Never a thought in your mind waking up in the morning of controlling your own life. You don't have to get up out of time clock anymore. Read. The elite system is set up to control. It's the set up to control. They don't even have to, the elite don't need the 1% that controls the world. They pay people to do their dirty work for them. They don't have to do anything because people are fight for a lie. That's right. They'll kill you over a lie. That's right. Read on. For power and profit, they don't want self thinkers. They don't want for power and profit, they don't want you to think. You understand when the people start thinking, the uprising starts. That's right. They get to understand they've been controlled, man, in a system where they can't do nothing for themselves, leave nothing for their children. Freedom. Your thoughts are not your own. Your thoughts are not yours. When you wake up in the morning, they already told you what you need to do. Read. They belong to the system. Read on. That's why you fight against any changes. That and you, anytime the Lord is bringing in changes, this is the biggest fight we in right now. Man. Even with the Israelites. They fight, even with the churches, they fight. Everybody fighting against false information. They want to keep that, that narrative going. Read. You are programmed to believe in only the system because it is, has more work for your for you or some of your parents. Read on. If you are listening to the elites con men. Every, everybody that's speaking to you or you've been listening to their con men. Read. The elites give you the illusion of freedom but control all your choices. They control all your choices. They'll give you the illusion of freedom but they control every every narrative. Read. If you don't think for yourselves, you cannot help but to be controlled. If you don't, so when you hollering you, you independent like the sisters be hollering, they just being controlled too. Man. Bring it out. Read on. Everything you own outright is not yours. Everything that you own outright is not yours. How do you keep it? You set a business for yourself. These are the things they can't never take from you. And I know y'all looking at the job market, City Corp laying off 8,000. Mm. These, these companies are shutting down. We need to be, this is how we rising up. Read. But the system that controls you. Your entire life is a rigged game designed to keep you in control. This whole thing is a rigged game, man. Bring it out. It's a rigged game. Why are you thinking there's so many? And let me tell you something. It's devastating on the, on, on the dark-skinned male, man. It's devastate, devastating on him, man. If this thing here have a hold on him. But read. You are entertained and not educated. All for the elites to profit off your labor. You're just entertained, man. What are they going to be talking about? The, the NBA, the NCAA? They're going to be talking about all these things that ain't going to bring no dollars into our communities and build nothing. Bring it out. Read. Our problems start and stop with us. That's where our problems start and stop with us. Because somebody that's programmed you, you're trying to teach them something, they're going to fight against you. They hate change. Bring it out. Read. Their most powerful weapon is a lie. That's their most powerful weapon, man. And we, and we eat it every day. We love that lie. Give me Revelations 1 and 1. We'll fight for that lie. We'll, want, we'll destroy each other for a lie. Read. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Read on. The revelation of Christ. The revealing, the revealing, man. The divine guidance of the knowledge of Yah. Read. Which gave God unto him. Read on. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Which must come hereafter. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angels unto his servant John. Made it known, man. Made it known. Read. Who bear record of the word of God. Who bear record of the word, man, in the Bible. Read. And of the testimony of the, Christ. The gospel. Read. And of all things that he saw. All things that he saw. All things that he knew. These are the things that is being delivered back to us again. But you know what? People will fight against it, man, because they reading their Bible and it's not they not understanding because what's what's coming out is totally different than their thoughts. Bring it out. Revelations 1 and 19. Verse 19. Write the things which thou hast seen. Write these things, man, that thou hast known. Read. And the things which are. Read on. And the things which shall be hereafter. And with the things that are to come. Read. And the things that come after. Now jump back up to 1 and 3. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. That's one of our biggest problems. I'm finding out these Israelites slothful. Mm. The world is slothful. Yeah. A man just came out with a video. I'm going to show y'all this video. I'm not going to do it in class. Everything that I've been teaching y'all, he come back out and showing, basically showing you how they, they constructed it. How, how, the, how the Rothschilds came in 
and took their dynamics, their, their, their redacting of all the information in the libraries, showing you how they set up these corporations to just deceive us. Not just here in the United States. It's all, they have to do it all over the world. That's right. right. This thing is bigger than us. That's why it's so important that people start reading. Reading make you remember. Remember that. Reading will make you remember things. And writing things down will make you be able to go back and obtain it again. Because once you forget about it, it's gone. You ever have a thought about something, doing something, and you don't write it down? It's gone. It's, it's so important to write these things down. But read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. They that hear, they that can understand. See, they all can't understand out there because they they, they still got their ears waxed, man. They they don't want to let knowledge in because they believe they believe what they've been taught, man. Everything you've been taught is a lie. Mm. Read. And keep those things which are written therein. Keep reading. For the time is at hand. The time, the time is at hand. The time is at hand. Read. John to the seven churches. Which are in Asia. Read on. Grace be unto you. Grace, peace, read. And peace read on. from him which is and which was. Which him that which is and which was. Read. And which is to come. Read on. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Before his throne, these seven spirits, power, rich, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, blessing. What else do we need? Find it out. Ain't nobody giving us these things. Look how we have transformed. Look at us, and there's not many of us that's that's working. You got them all, man. For the for the lure of that world, for that for that for that for that fake nipple out there, they go crazy. Man, for for a fake purse, they go crazy. Right. But for the truth, they won't fight, dude. But read on. And from Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, first raised, the first raised of the dead. Read. And the prince of the kings of the earth. And the prince of the kings of the earth. Read. Unto him that loved us. That loved us. Read. And washed us from our sins. Washed us, washed us, cleansed us from our thoughts. Read. In his own blood. In his own life. Read on. And hath made us kings and priests unto God and his father. Read on. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Keep reading us. Behold, he cometh with clouds. He what? Coming with clouds. To his divine presence, his divine spirit, read. And every eye shall see him. Every eye, every man shall know him, read. They also which pierce him. Everybody that reject him, read. And all kindreds of the earth read on. shall wail because of him. They're going to weep, weep, read. Even so, amen. Read on. I am Alpha and Omega. He said, I'm the beginning, man, and the end. And really, he have no ending, read. The beginning and the end. Read on. Saying the Lord. Says who? Saying the Lord. Read on. Which is the God of all. Man, the God of all, read. And which was. And what? And which was. The God of eternity, man, without a beginning or ending, read. And which is to come. Which is to come the second time, read. The Almighty. Christ came here, man, and set these things up for us to set ourselves back up again. Bring it out. In righteousness. That's right. In righteousness. You got people out here talking about spaceships, raptors. All the spaceship is just a, the narratives of the raptor. Oh, that's what you're seeing with Israelites. The people that are calling themselves Israelites. These things are so important to us to get, get it right, to learn right. It's a lot of these things, man. Now we're building on that foundation. It's going hard. It's going to be hard to come crack this concrete. Yes, sir. It's going to be hard, man, because they don't have the knowledge. They just have the hate. Matthew 4 and 17. Break it up, break it up. They have the hate. Hate don't de hate can't defeat knowledge. Man. Right, man. <laughs> you ever see somebody hate take a company down? They go and leave all kind of stuff on Wikipedia and all these stuff. Read, they say. Saint Matthew chapter four and verse seventeen. Read on. From that time, the second time, read. Christ began to preach. Read on. And to say, repent. He said, "Come, repent, man." Be retired, man. Be restored of your knowledge, of your spirit. Read. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's at hand. It's at hand. It's at hand, Israel. These things, man, it's a spiritual. This is a spiritual book, not a cookbook, man. They had us doing all kind of crazy things, man. <laughs> they had us doing all kind of crazy things. But we were little children. We were trying to gather the knowledge. Matthew 5 and 17, man. The giving of the law, his first declaration, man. 
The Israelite heritage, he giving us all these things the second time. Read this up. St. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. We don't. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. He said, I'm not to come and destroy what Moses had written. Read. Or the prophets. Or what the prophets had, had prophesied. Read. I have not come to destroy. We don't. But to fulfill. He come to fulfill them. He come to fulfill what, what was written of him. What did you think Jonah was writing about? Mm -hmm. That was prophesied about the prophets come that the, the that the sun was coming soon, right. and the peoples was expecting it. But see, you got peoples right now expecting a ship to pull in, Bring and what Christ gonna do? Get here and start teaching? How long is that gonna last, man? He gonna be pulling his hair out. That's right. You know, this thing is happening now, and people don't even realize it. They don't even realize it. Read up. For verily I say unto you. We don't. Till heaven and earth pass. Till heaven and earth pass. Read. One jot or one tittle. One jot or one tittle. Read. Shall in no wise pass from the law. Shall nothing pass from the law. Read. Till all be fulfilled. Let's get that, man. Give me Revelation 22 and 18. I understand that these brothers, they don't have an understanding of the scriptures. But when you're trying to edify them, uplift them, they look at you with malice. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they don't they don't open their mind. Read this up. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 18. For I testify unto you, unto every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. Of this book, read. If any man shall ask. See, they, they add all kind of garbage to the book, man. This is the problem with Israel. This is why you can't heal a nation that's sick. Because a nation that's sick, sick, sick things. Damn, read. read. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Keep reading. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophet. The words, the words. Read. God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Your name is going to be taken out. Read. And out of the holy city. Read on. And from the things which are written in this book. You got to keep these things. Matter of fact, get back to Revelations 1 and 10. This is a spiritual book. This is... Man, we've been reading this book corner. Mm -hmm. We've been eating, we've been eating defiled bread mm -hmm. right. for men. You know, these brothers ain't trying to heal the nation. They trying to kill it. They don't care nothing about the peoples. They all the things they care about is themselves. Let's create something, man. Yes, sir. Something that lasts, you know this, it lasts forever. That's right. It's an eternal thing. We're going to find these things out today. Read verse 10. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. I was in the spirit of the Lord's day. He said I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, man. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Read. And heard behind me a great voice. The son of the most high. Read. As of a trumpet. As of a trumpet, man. Of a trumpet. Read. Saying. Read on. I am Alpha and Omega. Read on. The first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. He said write it in a book for all men to read. Right. For everyone to read, read, and send it unto the seven churches. Send it unto the seven churches, the the ones that are building on me, the ones that are building for me. Send it to these seven churches. Read, which are in Asia. Read on unto Ephesus, unto Smyrna, unto Pergamos, unto Thyatira, unto Sardis, unto Philadelphia, and unto like Lydosia. And I turned to see the voice that spake unto me. Who, who is this speaking unto me? Read. And being turned. Read on. I saw seven gold candlesticks. I saw seven gold candlesticks. Your most valuable possession, his churches, his peoples. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. In the midst of the congregation. Read. One like unto the Son of Man. Read on. with a garment down to the foot. He, had, he was called to a garment down to the foot. When you understand the Son of Man, the Son of Man is talking about the doctrine of the new covenant that's what it's talking about and that garment re represents righteousness man see these these things got meanings to it when you read it just plain you're not really getting the, the full meal yeah. it's just like eat chicken with no season <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. i'm just telling you man that's what it's been like man we've been eating defiled food I had a, 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 a white friend of mine here cook some barbecue. It smelled good as hell. I'm like, man, <laughs> we're about to hug. Man, I got home. One, one, I, been, oh, what the hell is this, man? <laughs> it had no nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> but think about these things. Down to his foot, down to his spirit. Read. And gird about the paps with a golden girdle. That paps represents that love with love for us, man. 
And that golden girdle represents the true breed. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Purity with wisdom. Purity with wisdom. Read. That's white as snow. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his spirit was the divine. You can tell the divine presence of Yah. You can tell it's amongst us again. These are the things that he left for us. Right. So we can walk in righteousness. We can see right. We can be a light to the other nations. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And fine brass, man. When you understand his feet like the enlightenment, man. The way for the people to follow. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Purified. Purified. Read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And his voice as the sound of many waters. This is his servants, his prophets that are teaching as of many waters. This is what this is speaking, Israel. But I know it's hard. Three. But read. And he had in his right hand seven stars. He had the, the he had the prophets in his hands, man. They followed him. Read. And out of his mouth, when he struck to his sword. That's the word. That's the true doctrine. Read. And his countenance. And his spirit. Read. Was as the sun shineth in his strength. Sun give everything life, don't it? Mm. Read. And when I saw him. And when I knew him, read. I fell at his feet as dead. Everyone gonna have to take a knee, man. Read. And he laid his right hand upon me. Read on. Saying unto me. Read. Fear not. I am the first and the last. Everyone that come to Christ, man, that take their knee, fear not. Fear not. What you fearing today? You should have that Holy Spirit on you, man. Walk with it. Know that you somebody. We are so used to walking with our heads down. We defeated already. Believe in the believe in the power. Read. I am He that liveth. He said, "I am He, the Word, the foundation, the truth, forever." Read. And was dead. My, my my word was dead. Read. And behold, read on. I am alive forevermore. And the Word is back again. I'm alive forevermore. Read. Amen. Amen. Read. And have the keys of hell and of death. I have the key, the gospel of of hell, that bondage and death, that sin. He has the control to bring you back to life. That's right. It's your choice. It's your choice, peoples. You're going to have to eat this or you're going to have to eat death. Right. You have a choice. It's a choice. Back to Matthew 5 and 19. It's a choice. Take the choice. Take the truth. Take that red. Take that blue pill. Some of you still want to continue, man. It's time. It's time for us to step up. We've been passed over again. We're here today. Bring it out. It's what the Passover represents. We're here again. Yes, a lot of us, we sin, friends. We've been sin for years. That's right. This is what this Passover represents. Read this, huh? St. Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 19. Read on. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments Read on. and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. We're supposed to be teaching his word, man. Not right. teaching all this weirdo stuff, man. That's right. right. Read it out. <laughs> we just teach the word, man. It, it, it's easier to digest. Read. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Read on. For I say unto you. Let's sit on it. Let's go to Hebrews 9 and 13, the new covenant. See, it's here. We live in it. But see, we don't even know it because these are the brothers that keeping it hid from us. Man. I don't know. The love of Christ is powerful. Read this up. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 13. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and of the ashes of an heifer. These are the ashes, the burnt ashes of a heifer, man. The bulls and goats, these are for atonement. Read. Sprinkling the unclean. Read on. Sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. Just sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. Read. How much more shall the blood of Christ. The blood, the life, the life of Christ. Read. Who through the eternal spirit. Unchanging, offer, unchanging spirit. Read. Offer himself. Without spot, without God. sin to God, read. Purge your conscience. He said, "You got to get your mind right, Israel. Bring it out. That's all we got to do is start thinking. Right. We hate to think, man. We wake up in the morning, hey, man. We ain't thinking about nothing. I'm telling y'all, y'all got gifts. Y'all just don't want to use them. Bring Some of you sitting on them, man. Some of you could be helping out, making plenty, helping your household. It's time for us to start living life." Mm -hmm. But some of us will hold on to that death just by our thoughts. You don't want to purge your conscience, man. It's, it's time. Read on. From your dead work. That's what he's talking about. A lot of you still just want to continue in that dead work, that life you used to live. That's dead works. Read. To serve the living God. To serve him. To serve him. And it's time. And it's time for us to step up. Right. Be means. 
to be women's, to teach our children, because what you're doing now, you're saying you're sacrificing for these children. Yes, sir. So these children don't have to eat that defiled bread we was out there eating. Yes, sir. Mm. Romans 5 and 9. It's time. We, we from under that yoke of the, the, the scribes and the Pharisees. Y'all got that last night. We from under that yoke now. Read this, up. Romans chapter 5 and verse 9. Read on. Much more then, being now justified by his blood. Proven by his life. He proved these things to us, man. Read. We shall be saved from wrath through him. We're going to be saved from his anger, man. You see people, man. I seen a guy. I seen him about four years ago. I was just saying, well, he, hey, 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 he calling. I'm like, who was, I'm kind of seeing who calling. He running, man, I'm going through it. I say, you know, what's going on? We had a quick conversation. I say, you need to come to the school, huh? I say, Lord ain't going to stop, stop spanking, man. <laughs> Lord ain't going to stop spanking, man. You're going to have to repent to get that off of you. Mm -hmm. you still under that curse, man. Mm -hmm. That curse will destroy you. Man. It's evil. Understand these things. Give me Ephesians 1 and 7. We're trying to build, man. Come in here and get this Holy Spirit, man. Talk about good things, man. Talk about our families, sin, the children's. You know, some of them had their little garments. They don't have grew their little garments. Hey, man. You know? It's a beautiful thing, man, to see progress. Read this, all. Right? Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood. See, we have re re deliverance, man. We have deliverance through his life. That's why he came here to die for us, man. That's right. Read. The forgiveness of sins. Forgive us of all our wickedness, man, our evil doing. Read. According to the riches of his grace. The riches of his grace, man. That was one of the part of these things from the riches of his grace, man. Of his calling. Some of you take that, man. You get that phone call. You don't want to do nothing with it. Yes, sir. Because you're still dealing with your dead works. Yes, sir. That's all, man. John 1 and 29. John 1 and 29. You're still dealing with that evil works. That dead works, man. It ain't going to profit nothing, man. We should be coming together, putting our heads together, building, man. Sure. Building on something. Building on this foundation. With, with the word, we can, we can achieve anything. Bring it on. Because it, 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 it bonds us together. It put trust in us. Who can you put trust out there in that world? Jesus. Who haven't got burned out there? Man. Who haven't bought that box of bricks? I didn't buy the box of bricks. You're going to have to open that box. <laughs> Sorry, partner. It's business. <laughs> you got to open that box and show me what's in it. And if it's in electronics, it got to be turned on. Yes, sir. See, you ain't going to just sell me anything. That's how they just get over on people. We still talking about this, and that that game been going on for years. Right. Now you have to be worried about the job scam game, the credit scam game. Anybody texting you, man, you don't know who it is, just delete them. That's right. Some of you want to answer because you're still full of dead works. Somebody emailing you don't know who it is, delete it. Yeah. Say so you're still full of dead works. You want to see what it is. Especially that one guy was on Facebook. He was sending me all kind of pictures of money. I kept putting no, no, no. He finally went away after I blocked him. <laughs> See, they, they know how to entice a weak mind. What if you throw some money in front of them? If you throw some money in front of them, they go for it. Yes, sir. We use. See, but when you upright with Christ, you don't go for none of that mess. Right. Bring it up. You don't go for it, man. I don't need it. Uh, you can make $1,500 in a week. No, I don't need it. That's right. You make it. If it's that good, send it to everybody else. Please. <laughs> You can make 15000 by the end of the month. Send it to somebody else. They need it more. <laughs> I got Christ. Yes, Read this up. St. John, chapter 1 and verse 29. Read on. The next day, John seeth Christ coming up to him. Read on. And say, Behold the Lamb of God. The Lamb. The Lamb for our sin offerings. Read. Which taketh away the sin of the world. The whole world, man. Not just the Israelites. That's right. <clears throat> Boy, these brothers out here are corner-minded as hell, man. Yes, sir. Pharisees and scribes. See, people like that unleavened bread, man. They like lies, deceptions. They don't like that leavened bread, man. They don't like the truth. These are the things that we're learning. First Peter's 19, 1 and 19. We're learning now, man. We're starting to uh, uh, understand it. You know, Lord will, we start putting things on, getting things moving, man. You're going to see us moving around. You're going to see things happening. 
but it's all going to be through the spirit of Christ. Read this, huh? First Peter, chapter 1, and verse 19. But with the precious blood of Christ. The precious blood, the life free. As of a lamb, without blemish and without spot. We need somebody righteous to lead us out of this bondage, man. Right. We need somebody that's honorable to lead us out of this bondage, man. That's right. We can't be following these men that's got all kind of garbage in their trunk, man. Bring it out. That's what Israel like. They like somebody like themselves. That's right. Read. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world. Read on. But was manifest in these last times for you. Made known for you, man. All these things that was prophesied was here, is here again. Sure. The truth is on the planet now. And I'm going to tell you something. The world don't like it. But you know what? There's people's reaching out now because of the ministry. We put out this, that word out there. They reaching out. They want to know. You got ones that's out there right now peeking. Want to come back home. But they're proud on them. Let me tell you something. Ain't nobody going to look at you different, man. Everybody don't been through it out there. Bring it out. right? You're going to get nothing but love showing up in here, man. And what people ain't used to is love. Right. They're not used to love in this world, man. They're used to people just tearing them down. And I know they're tired of it. Read, huh? Who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead. Raised him up, read. And gave him glory. And gave him honor, read. That your faith and hope might be in God. That's your faith and hope, man. Your faith and hope got to be in the power, man. That's right. Read. Saying ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. Man, you don't cleanse your mind, man. You don't got to, you don't spend working on them evil thoughts. It's not going to be an overnight thing. You got to write them down. See, then you got to check out, hey, man, and say, I'm dealing with this. Let me check this out. Our number one thing is pride. Mm -hmm. Then it might be anger. Mm -hmm. Then it might have a hateful spirit. You got to check them things off and get them out your system. And know that people sick. See, we don't know. See, when, you, when you're when not thinking you're not sick, you're thinking somebody else sick. Right. See, you're full, of, you're full of that unleavened. Some of you didn't cleanse your mind. You should be cleansing your mind, being fasting the rest of the year, thinking about these things, meditating on these things. Bring it out. Read. See that ye love one another. It says, see that ye what? Love one another. Read on. With a pure heart, fervently. Sincerely, man. Sincerely, man. You can't be a pretender in this truth, man. You're going to get exposed. See, what you're doing in the dark will come to the light. That's right. I'm sorry. Read. Being born again. What did I say? Being born again. We got to be born again like Christ. Bring it out. We have to be born again a second time too. That's right. Read. Not a corruptible seed. See, you can't be being born again. We, we came in the truth. We come right up on the corruptible seeds. Read. But of incorruptible. But incorruptible through Christ's spirit. Read. By the word of God. That's how we do it. Read. Which liveth and abideth forever. Which liveth and abideth forever. Read. For all flesh is as grass. He says like grass. Read. And all the glory of man as the flower of grass. Read on. The grass withereth. See, they, they doctrine and they lies, they're going to go away. Read. And the flower thereof falleth away. It's going to die soon. Read. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. It's going to endure forever, man. Read. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached to you. This is the true doctrine, man. This is the true message of Christ. Bring it out. Bring it out. This is the true spirit. How we bring each other back. How we show each other love. We ain't right now, man. We we teetering on it. We got a lot of things going on, man. But as you know, we got Christ in your spirit, man. You're gonna stick it with your brothers. You're gonna love your brothers because ain't nothing out there in that world but hate. Give me first Corinthians 5 and 7. Let's purge some of this stuff out of you, man. We got to purge this doodle out your mind. Right. The thinking, man, one way. You know, we, we we had this last week, how you apply the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But we 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 so self un uneducated. We 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 taught to shun people's out, disconnect from them. How do you leave problems behind? Oh, Take care of these things. Read this up. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 7. No, we are uh five and seven. My bad. Listen at this, man. First Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. Read. Purge out therefore the old leaven. It's like purge that old leaven, man. See, a lot of you won't get rid of that old person that you've been, man. Some of you think you're going to get in the kingdom and have them saying wicked demons on you. Man, bring it out. You got to purge it out, man. That's right. Purge them thoughts out, man. 
This ain't, this ain't about a cake, man. That cake ain't gonna do nothing for you. That's the doctrine we was given. Read on. That ye may be a new law. A new spirit, a new person. Someone walking in, in, the, in the spirit in the light of Christ. Read. As ye are unleavened. Read on. For even Christ our Passover. Christ is our Passover. Read. His sacrifice for us. He will sacrifice for us. This is how I understand how people thinking Christ coming back here to what? Do it again? It'll be a third time, won't it? Christians and, and Israelites just don't think, man. They don't think. They just respond to whatever's out there. That's right. You had some of my Israelites out here talking about it was going to be dark for three days. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Bring that out. Man. And it's just like, I was a child, I seen the eclipse. I'm like, what is they talking about? <laughs> just a few minutes and it's gone. No superpower. And I just want to know how they figuring these things out. Teach. How they know what path it's going to take. Man. These are the things we need to be building up to. Bring it out. See, some of you sitting back, man, full of dead works. Some of you should be researching these things, knowing about the new moon coming in. Some of you just be on there, somebody post, you, 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 you got dead work, somebody post, okay, let me have a little life. <laughs> <laughs> Get on there before somebody. Show them that you in the spirit. Sure. Be that light to the other brothers and sisters. Read on. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Let us keep the feast. Let us keep the truth. Let us keep the faith. Read. Not with old leaven. We can't have that old spirit, man. We can't have that old spirit, the spirit of lies, the spirit of deception. Read. Neither with the leaven of malice. Malice. Malice, man. Read. And wickedness. Wickedness. Read. But with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The pure word of Christ, man, and using them laws. Read. That's I, it on that. That's it on that. That's it. Go, go to Proverbs 6 and 23. See, I know a lot of times people be watching. I, I like to give them these old precepts. You know, so people understand what we speak and what we teach and read this. Uh, Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. Read on. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandment is a lamp. Read. And the law is light. That's Christ. Read. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. This is what brings us to life, man. This is what put us on the right path again. How are we going to trust each other? We don't govern. We ain't got nothing to govern by each other. Man. Somebody can just walk in your house. Hey, take your wife. I just. <laughs> I, I, you know, Pastor Dow, man, you know the word had on you, man. You, <laughs> wow. I'm telling you, man, what, what is going on with these men? One, four wives, auction off the women's and stuff, man. Christ is exposing them, man. Christ is exposing them. These are the things that y'all not paying attention, man. Y'all not seeing that kind of garbage coming out of her. Back to Hebrews, man, the warning, 3 and 7. Christ is warning us. He's, hey, man, he's letting us know he's going to bring these, these things to light. He's going to show us. He's going to raise these brothers' skirts up, man. You know, you got grown men. They telling grown men to go get circumcised. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's wrong with these brothers, man? Eating that corn of bread. Hmm. Read this up. Uh, Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 7. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, The love, the word, read. Today, if ye will hear his voice. If you will hear his word, read. Harden not your heart. See, a lot of people, they get mad, man. They hate the truth. They hate that they don't know something. That's why they can't change. See, they, they getting to the point, I read this, I didn't get that understanding. I read it too. I didn't get it. You got to put your brick in. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, I'm like college now. See, I told you in college I wasn't reading, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I was checking out before I got that bad grade. Mm -hmm. Got them few dollars back, check my old book in. <laughs> <laughs> People in college know what I'm talking about, boy. If you ain't, hey, you miss a week in college, you might well check out that class. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you have to be in the truth, man. You got to stay on top of these things. But read. As in the provocation. As in the pro and how you provoke it, read. In the day of temptation in the wilderness. We're going to follow the same steps as our forefathers. Give me 1 Corinthians 10 and 6. We'll follow these same steps, man. It, see, if you don't know, you're going to repeat the same old mistakes. Yes, sir. You have to know the truth, not to repeat them. Read this up. Uh. First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 6. 
Now these things were our example. Read on. To the intent we should not lust after evil things, as they also lust. As the forefathers did, man, as we did at one time. Read. Neither be ye idolaters. These are the haters of the law. Read. As were some of them. Some of them read. As it is written. It's written in Exodus. Read. The people sat down to eat and drink. They sat down to learn and understand, get the doctrine and get fed. Read. And rose up to play. And rose up to mock Christ after that, man. That's what they do. These are the spirits we deal with. Read. Neither let us commit fornication. These are the ones that forsake y'all. Read. As some of them committed. Read on. And fell in one day, three and twenty thousand. Twenty-three thousand. Read. Neither let us tempt Christ. Don't a. Hey, a lot of you like to tempt Christ. You come in, you sit down, you go home, you go right back to that darkness, that that dead works. Wipe it out. Pretenders, man. You got to take this truth, man. This truth makes us man. It, it set us back up again. Sure. Don't you see these other nations? That women, they honor their husbands because their husbands are doing things. You know, I tell you, a PlayStation is for you to waste time. A lot of people don't understand why I tell people that, that's just a waste that make you waste time. That phone is to make you waste time. That's right. How much time do you have? Man. <laughs> Utilize Get your out. time, man. Bring it out. Monitor your time. Have a time schedule. If you're getting up at 10, get up at 8. <laughs> Do something. It'll change. It'll change the way you think. Read. As some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. And they, they would destroy the serpents. And these serpents are talking about these other nations, these peoples. Read. Neither murmur you. See, a lot of them like to murmur, man, when they don't have the understanding. That's not what he's saying. But read. As some of them also murmur. See, because they don't, they don't, Christ is not dealing with them. They're not walking with in spirit. Read. And were destroyed of the destroyer. They were destroyed of Yah. Read. Now all these things happen unto them, for example. Example, read. And they are written unto our admonition. This our warning, read. Upon whom the ends of the world are come. At the ends, man, it's things. It's just time for us to step up and be spiritual, walk like men. And we, we're walking like men. We honor each other, man. That's right. When we see each other, we happy to see each other. Sure. You know, a lot of people, we get here early, man, so we can see each other. We have times. You know, the thing is, show by your works, man. That's your fruits. That's your fruits. Read. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Let, reflect on these things, man. When you're thinking and reflect on these things lest you fall, man. The thing Christ is putting in, in, in order, man, is to rebuild you. That's right. Don't reject it. Read. There had no temptation taken you, but such as in common to man. What you've been trained, how you've been controlled, man. That's what. That's the temptation that controls you. That's what controls you not to follow, not to be a light. Read. But God is faithful. God is faithful, man, not man. Read. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. He's not going to allow these things to come to you when you're walking in the spirit. Read. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. You may be able to bear it. Live through it, man. Read out. The word, the word is what we have. When you're having bad days, get back on that word. It'll bring you back up. That's right. right. See, the world is the thing that, that, that destroys us. How many people you see out there, man, going through it? Mm. You you see people with their head down, man, they going through it. But we got the word, man. We ain't got to go through it no more. Sure. Back to Hebrews 3 and 9. We got the word. We got something to stand on. We got a foundation. Everything we got, man, Christ is going to give it to us. That's right. Believe. Believe with your heart. See, a lot of you ain't being engaged because you're being distanced. Then you're being distanced. You don't understand what's going on. You got to be engaged. We're trying to get you out of your terror shell. That's right. Some of you don't understand, man. You, you, you have lack of faith. And you one thing that I notice that people that don't listen, they got to get spanked. You know how it is with the children. You ain't lying. Ain't that right, sis? So Mary knows she got some children. They don't listen. They got yo got spanked in here. <laughs> I got spanked. See, I see Jerry be getting spanked, and he knew on the scenes. <laughs> hey, but that brings us back, don't it? You remember, don't you? Yes, sir. Some of you don't remember. That's why you had to get spanked again. <laughs> it don't take but one for me. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Read this up. Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 9. 
When your fathers tempted me. When he, when your father angered me, read. Proved me. Proved me, read. And saw my works for the years. Keep reading. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation. Shoot on. And said, they do always err in their heart. They mind, man. They mind, man. Because they had come out of abundance, man. It's hard for you to let go. It's hard for you to let go of the system that you trust in. It's hard, man. But it's easy when you know it's taking advantage of you. Sure. I was listening to a man. You will have a house. Don't pay the property tax on it. You'll find out who house it belongs to. <laughs> Y'all better start understanding, man. We, we ain't got nothing but this. This is what separates us. This is what makes us holy. So the rest of the nation can see us. Read up. And they have not known my ways. They don't know his ways, man. That's the problem. We Christ is trying to teach you his ways and you reject them. Read. So I swear in my wrath. He said, I swear in my anger. Read. They shall not enter into my rest. They're not going to enter in my peace and my kingdom. Read. Take heed. Take heed. Learn. Read. Brethren. Read on. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of un unbelief. Side of man, they got them evil hearts of unbelief, man. Read. And departing from the living God. Let them fall away, man. That's why you see every year, man. Who going to be in the picture next year? Read. They don't understand what the scriptures are saying. It is warning them, man, to take take control, man. You got to take control. Just like we had last week, man. The Bible's putting things in order. It's like baby steps. Getting your house in order, man. Keeping things. You got to keep. Hey, let me tell you something. If your house dirty, don't you got to clean it? So if your house out of order, you got to get it back in order. You got to do this every week, every day almost. Amen. See, some of us think we got it in order. We can we can rest, rest for six months. <laughs> this is a daily thing, man. Examining things daily. Read. But exhort one another daily. Exhort one another, man. Build each other. Read. While it is called today. While it is called today, man. While it is called today. Read. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. What you have learned, man. What you have learned in this world, the ways, man. A lot of people watch their television, man. That television teach you how to think. It teaches you how to have emotions and not to really think things clear and not to have humble hearts, man. Believe in each other, trust in each other. A home, man, is a beautiful thing. See, when you get with your wife young, you grow with her till she get old. That's a beautiful thing, man. And we have to take you know these things serious, just like the church. You you get with the, you get with Christ, and you get old. You see people, man. And and the thing is, you get to see life through each other. That's right. You can't see life out there by yourself. That's right, man. You get lost. Then you meet another group, another friends, and you're going through it again. Read. For we are made partakers of Christ. See, this is the thing. We are made partakers. We are gathered together through Christ. Read. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, our oh, trusting, read. Stand fast Fir until the end. Firmly, man. Firmly. We have to do these things firmly. Firmly. We have to stay steady on these things, man. We have to stay one mind. We have to stay in control of our, our, our thoughts. You know, sometimes a lot of you brothers and sisters out there don't like to pick that phone up. Sure. You going through it, pick that phone up, man. Man. Get some love. Counseling is love. That's right. You're not thinking right, man. Hey, hey we the counsel, we the physicians. Everybody in here a physician. You know, a certain thing, sister can't call you. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Gotta call one of them sisters. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> certain things, you know, but that's why our sisters got to be teach the young ones. We all here for each other. And when we start accepting it, we'll start to understand how we're going to build, man. Because, you know, I got up this morning, last night, man. I came and talked to the bitch, talked to a couple brothers. Man, Lord, put some on our spirit, man. Hey, see, we're going to get into the market where things happening. We're going to build something, man. We just got to believe. And we got, and you got to have faith in what you're doing. That's right. Well, First Corinthians 15 and 12. You got to have faith. You got to believe that that's coming from Christ. See, some of we talking, they thinking it's coming from man. See, when you ain't in the right spirit, I know it's coming from man. Read this up. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 12. 
That if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead. See, this comes all from the Old Testament read. How say some among you that there was no resurrection of the dead? There's no restoring of the dead, no no reveal, no reviling, no re bringing the word of Christ to the dead again, read. But if there be no resurrection of the dead. Restoring of the mind, read. If Christ is not risen. He, he's not made known to us, read. And if Christ be not risen. If he be not risen, he be not elevated above all men's read. Then is our preaching vain. Is our preaching unprofitable, read. And your faith is also vain. And your faith is useless too. Bring it out. Bring it out. Read. Yay. Yay. Read. And we are found false witnesses of God. We're going to be found false witness, man. Read. Because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ. He, and we testify that God raised up Christ, man. Elevated him above all men. Read. Whom he raised not up. Read on. If so be that the dead rise not. If it, Christ wasn't elevated and come back second time, we wouldn't even be here today. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be here today, man. We'll be still waiting on it. Sure. That's what a lot of people are doing. That's why they can't find their faith. That's right. They still waiting on false hope, false doctrines, false lies, spaceships, chips, everything, two wives, everything to keep them from the kingdom. And man, that man, that, you need to watch that man. I don't know if you've seen that bitch. No. Man, you gotta see that man. Had them little young girls up in front of these old beast men, <laughs> selling them off. Selling them off. You got to see that, man. Got to go check that out, man. Y'all got to think about where your daughter's at. Man. I wish somebody would try to sell off one in here. Preach. We're not having that. <laughs> We're not having that, man. Where we at, Ark? Read it. For if the dead rise not. See, if the dead rise not, read. Then is not Christ raised. He's not, he's not raised, read. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is in vain. See? Christ had to be elevated, man. Come back the second time. Without these things, we wouldn't have faith, man. We still would be walking around here lost. Out there in them street corners destroying people. Teach. Read. Ye are yet in your sins. We still would be in sin. That's what we, the, I was reading out that <laughs> man. We're out there down and folk. We in sin. Man. That's right. Crazy. <laughs> and people are like, you don't apologize. I don't, what I can't keep apologizing for? I didn't know, man. I was a child too. That's right. You know, we were doing what we we seen these our fake forefathers doing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Read on. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. These the ones, man, are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. You think about it. Not knowing y'all, man. These ones gonna perish. Mm. They don't know. They don't know the true living God, man. You know a lot of things we've been teaching, man. It's been about. It's been the spirit, and y'all, y'all got to check these young ox out too, man. They be bringing that that smoke. He was bringing it out last night. The divorce wasn't even coming. I had to call him personally. <laughs> you know, somebody on the computer tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna make me come in the screen one day, man. What the hell going on? Golden glove or something. You know, I want that word coming out. Read up. If in this life only we have hope in Christ. In this life, in this life, through what Christ came here and did for us, we have hope, man, in Christ. Read. We are of all men most miserable. If we didn't have Christ, we'd be going through what everybody else going through out there, man. That's right. Y'all ain't talking to none of your relatives. They going through it. Ain't they? they going through it out there, man. That's right. Man, they getting tore up from the floor up. That's right. And they still, it's just like, them the ones that don't like to listen. Read. But now is Christ risen from the dead. Christ. Christ risen. Risen, man. Preached. Revealed. From dead. From the dead thoughts and belief. He's been revealed, man. Think about it. Read. And become the first fruits of them that slept. The ones restored back to life. Read. For since by man came death. For Adam, second Adam, came death. Read. By man came also the resurrection of the dead. From Yah came also the restoring of life up for the dead. And where we at? 22. Read verse 23. Verse 23. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. That are what? That are Christ at his coming. That is present, man. When you understand, but every man. Let me read verse 10 to verse 22. Christ shall 
all be through Christ we shall all be made alive. That's right. Through Christ we shall be all made alive. Think about it. Are you alive today? You hear? Are you a true believer? You hear? A lot of them out there, man, it's a lot of people out there calling us from out of state, man. They trying to get here. You know, they talking about relocate. Take your time. Make sure you come here and get your thing like, like the new guy. He came here and got his stuff together. He like eight minutes away. He better not start bothering me. I might move, man. <laughs> That's the love for the brother. I be hearing him talking. Yeah, he come to the other house. He come outside. You gotta take shoes off coming to my house. Leave all that dirt out there with you rigging. But every man, man, in his own order, man, in his own order, everything will come to you. You just have to be patient in this walk. Christ, the first fruit, and after that day, after that day. He's talking about y'all, the true believers. Y'all are the true believers, y'all here. Right. It's, it's, it's all going to come in. The more we talk about it, the more it manifests, the more we marinate on it, the more y'all going to get spiritually built. Some people ain't taking it in like they should. That at Christ, at his, pre as his coming, his presence, his spirit is on us now. And let me show you. How he sanctified. Give me John 17, 13. Gee. Let me show you something. He got to sanctify us. He got to sanctify us. Some of you, just, just hold on. Read. St. John, chapter 17, verse 13. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, Read on. that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. These are the true believers, the true followers, the true worshipers. That they might have my joy, my joy fulfilled. That joy is life. Controlling your own life. Think about it. When you ain't got to wake up and go punch a time clock, who want to go punch a time clock? Break it out. Who want captivity? Oh, that's, all, that's all it is. A way of controlling you, keeping you away from your children. Think about it. You got your own business. Your son going to learn the business from you. You know, the daughter gonna learn the business from her mom. She's gonna learn how to be a great wife too. We have to pass down great things. That's right. Read. I have given them thy word. He said, hey, I have given them thy word. And thy word is life. Read. And the world has hated them. You understand what we what we doing? People hate us. You know, we're not following nobody. We're not up under no one west doctrine. Teach. See, we're not we're not dealing with none of this stuff. And we invite all these 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 denominations because the one West doctrine is another denomination. It's just like Christianity. That's right. Mm -hmm. We invite them all to come and sit down, but they don't want to. Pride. Read. Because they are not of the world. See, because y'all are not of that world. Read. Even as I am not of the world. Christ wasn't of that world. Read. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Read on. But that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They got to keep them from seeing. Read. They are not of the world. Read on. Even as I am not of the world. Christ speaking these things, man. Y'all have to get rid of those dead works. You got to let go. Yeah. That world is to kill you. It's an illusion. Read. Sanctify them through the, thy truth. This is what this is all about. Teaching our peoples the truth. Right. This is what this whole thing, this is how you sanctify them. Through the truth. Teach. You can't sanctify nobody through lies. That's right. Read. Thy word is truth. Thy word. Thy word. Give me Ephesians 2 and 4. Thy word is truth. You have to speak his words. You have to teach his words. You have to live his words. You have to know his words. You have to love his words. And that love will, will resonate on to the congregation. That's right. Read. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 4. Read on. But God, who is rich in mercy. Man, rich in mercy. Rich in mercy, man. Rich in patience. Man, he see what we going through. Read. For his great love wherewith he loved us. With his great love he loved us to bring us up out of these things that we're dealing with daily. Read. Even when we were dead in sin. Some of you still got a little bit in your back pocket. 
<laughs> Gotta get rid of it. Read. Had quickened us together with Christ. Look at us, gathering together with Christ, man. Read. By grace you are saved. By grace. By grace you are saved, man. Read. And had raised us up together. Raised us up jointly together, man. Arm in arm. Read. And made us sit together. Made us come love each other. Read. Heavenly places in Christ. Read on. That in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ. Through Christ, through his word. Read. For by grace are ye saved through faith. Through faith. Read. And that not of yourself. Nah, you didn't do it yourself. Read. It is the gift of God. Man, what gift are you waiting on? This is the greatest gift we ever will receive. Read this is the greatest gift we will receive. A lot of us, we didn't, we didn't know each other. Right. It was the word brought us together. Let's deal with deliverance. Let me show you how you deliver. Give me uh, John 8 and 32. See, a lot of people are thinking, carnal minded. <laughs> this is all about truth, people. Let me show you. Read this. St. John chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. Read on. And the truth shall make you free. That was going to deliver you. That's what's going to deliver you the truth. That's right. <laughs> this is simple. The way that the, the one west and all these are, they make it hard on you, man. Teach. You got to clean all the stuff out your house. Man, we had to do all that. They didn't say nothing about that. It's just, that's adding on to something, ain't it? Man. That was in the wilderness. Why, why was they cleaning out? <laughs> when they, they already load uh, 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 on stuff. <laughs> this just doesn't make sense no more, do it? <laughs> Boy. You know, under the one where I'm tell you something, man, you can see that the most high the spirit is starting to come on to the people, man. Read verse 32 again. And ye shall know the truth. The facts and reality, read. And the truth shall make you free. It's going to make you free from that bondage, man. It's going to make you free from them lies, free from that deception. And it's going to deliver your soul. Give me Galatians 5 and 22. See, we, we, we used to get all them classes, man. We had all the videos going. You know, we showing thermonuclear weapons happening. And we, we bringing y'all to what the television was bringing. We not bringing that corner stuff, man. We'll bring stuff in here to edify, but it's on a different, it's on a different method now. Read this, uh, Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. This is how we deliver them ourselves. Read. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. See, look at this, man. When you don't have love on you, man, that's why a lot of people they deal with that with that anger, man. They gotta get that love in them. That's right. It's, it, man, I'm tell you something. Love brings so much in, in, enjoyment in your house. You know, you get that you get that new TV. You be in love sitting in there watching it. Mm. Flick up. Hi, Dell. Then they got the curved TV. I wonder what kind they coming out with next. The paper thin. <laughs> Understand how you know that we went from the big screen. I was telling my wife how I used to text my cousin on his page. I used to text him the, the funeral home number. This guy was gay there. Since he get <laughs> since he get drunk all the time, I used, to, I used to just continue to text him. But I just put a code behind. He still called it back. But he knew who it was though after he called the number back. But I did just like a whole year. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, man. Enjoying each other. Read. Joy. 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 You're going to hear this continuously, man. Look at us. This is joy, man, to see the, all the seats. I know those people don't really take, man, y'all should be taking pictures. This is something you remember. This is something you remember. Read. Peace. Peace. Read. Long suffering. Long suffering, man. You got to be dealing with people even in your own house. Long suffering. Read. Gentleness. Gentleness, kindness, knowing how to treat each other. Read. Goodness. Goodness, man. Goodness. Read. Faith. Faith. Read. Meekness. Meekness. Read. Temperance. Temperance. Read. Against such there is no law. We don't need no law, man. We don't need sacrifice. We don't need no laws. That's right. We live it. That's right. Think about this. We. This is how we deliver in ourselves through Christ. Read. And they that are Christ, they that are Christ, believe, follow, 
Read. Have crucified the flesh. That'll overcome the carnalness, man. Read. With the affections and lust. With the affections and lust. That don't overcame these demons, man. We have to overcome these things that hold us back. Let's deal with uh, redemptions. How he redeemed us. Give me Galatians 4 and 4. See, these things are being done. Y'all don't even know they're being, being they're taking place. Because y'all so used to the things that we had learned out there in that world. That that's what was holding us back. Y'all going to be able to enjoy each other today, tomorrow. And after this, after we get things moving, we're going to have one major Passover. This is why I'm telling y'all, y'all in the truth, y'all should start having y'all affairs together. Y'all should be able to start budgeting your money and preparing for these things. See, a lot of you like to go out and eat that dead food. That processed food. Man. I'm telling y'all, y'all should be knowing how to budget your money better now. Not to do the dumb things that you did in the world. So when things, when we got two major, we do two major celebrations, we're going to start trying to do the Feast of Tabernacles together. So we'll be able to see all the brothers and sisters. That's what the Spirit has put on me to say. Bring it out. And everyone that's in here still playing games, <laughs> you're going to get left behind. That's right. It's time for y'all to get serious about it. I keep telling you money is just a tool. That's right. Okay. If you don't know how to use it, you're just a fool. Read this, Art. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4. Read. But when the fullness of the time was come. This is, this is talking about the yeah, yeah, second time coming. Read. God sent forth his son. He sent forth his son. Read. Made of a woman. Made of a woman. Read. Made under the law. Made under the law, man. Subject to the judgment, man. You understand these things? Give me First John 1 and 4. 4 and 1. First John chapter four and verse one. And, and when when y'all understand, take y'all time in this man. This is no rush, no rush to learn these things. No rush. Get in your Bible, man, and just start start meditating, man. I know th this this place is getting crazy and crazier, trying to keep you occupied, busy as much as possible. But if you get your life in order, you'll free these free some time up. And what I be telling y'all about establishing business, man, stay focused with it. I'm here to help. We're here through the Spirit. Read this, Art. First John, chapter 4, verse 1. Listen at this, read. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Christ warning us, man. We can't believe everybody got fringes on. Everybody calling themselves a Hebrew, <laughs> speaking Yiddish, huh? calling themselves a Israelite. An Old Testament Israelite. You can't believe every spirit, man. Bring it up. Read. But try the spirits. How do you try? You got to try through the doctrine. That's how you try a spirit of is he of Christ or not. But read. Whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. There are a lot of false prophets don't depart from Yah, man. They don't teach Yah. They teach what they want to teach them to make themselves look good. You ever notice this? This is about being seen, not bringing the nation back together. They tell you they've been had they one one camp so they on their fifty fifth pit Passover, and ain't got bubble gun to chew on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you ain't gonna find that they ain't built nothing. Try the spirit. These are these brothers. They follow man, and you know what I notice about these brothers. I always talk about they. they I'll be like, man, they they'll never talk about Christ. They elevating the, They give me Matthew twenty four and eleven. Let me show you. Everything's in the Bible. Christ. Is, everything in here was to warn us and admonish us and to build us. Read this. Saint Matthew chapter twenty four and verse eleven. And many false prophets shall rise. See, because you see in all these different camps. This is what Christ ain't talking about the Christianity church. We know better than that. <laughs> we know the school system, the world. It's just these people that are awake and get caught up in these camps. They don't know which camp to go to. Say, try the spirit. Like you go in there, man, you can see people, you can see people's ain't genuine. 
And when they calling them from these other camps, I let them know what we do, man. Don't, don't we don't want that mess coming over here. That's right. They call it. They call. It. But see, they want to come over here and bring that garbage over here. Leave your garbage where you where you coming from. Read on. And shall deceive many. This is how what you understand. They're gonna deceive many. You got the rape doctrine. You got the ship doctrine. You got the chip doctrine. You got the wife doctrine. You got the Pharisees. You got the scribes. But you don't. You haven't found Christ. Bring it out. Jump down to verse 24. Verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. See, these are false prophets, man. Read. And false prophets. Read on. And shall show great signs and wonders. You see, they camp. They got everything. They looking good. The peoples are promoting them. They telling you this is God, army. They misleading the peoples. That's right. Read. And so much that if it were possible... They shall deceive the very elect. The very elect, the ones that are names are written in the book of life. <laughs> How are they going to be able to deceive us? We're going back to the church. <laughs> now that they know T.D. Jakes hanging out with Puff Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you go to the church? <laughs> Think about it. First John 4 and 2. We rolling. We're ahead of schedule. Think about it. Would you go back to that church? And then you know they having Pub Daddy dealing with all these little girls. Pub Daddy want a little boy. <laughs> See, you just have to understand how they're giving you the narrative. You got to understand what Puff is really doing. You have to understand these things, man. <laughs> See, they're going to give you a narrative like they, the, the Osteens or whatever, Ghostin, whatever these people, man. You have to understand everything that's above is wicked. Mm. Read this, huh? First John chapter 4 and verse 2. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. The doctrine we teach read. Every spirit that confesseth that Christ is come in the flesh is of God. See, every, fresh, every spirit that confesses that Christ don't came the second time is of God, man. These are the ones that believe Christ came here to be able to set up for our redemption, our sanctify, our deliverance, and to bring us joy. So Christ come here again, what's, what's going to happen? You have to go back and repeat everything he did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, me, I'd be like, man, I'm going to let them deal with it. <laughs> but we try to show love to everybody and to bring everybody home bring it up. it's just that most people they don't have trust in themselves to understand how we moving give me John 4 and 23 Now, when you're teaching these classes, it'd be a whole lot. This could have been like a four or five-hour class. I know some people would be mad. I'm trying, I'm trying to get like the mother brothers. <laughs> trying to brainwash us. I'm not, I'm trying to make you remember. That's why I don't hold you in here all day. Some of you know your attention span ain't that long. <laughs> you watch your favorite show, you on your next show. <laughs> Read this, huh? St. John, chapter 4, and verse 23. But the hour cometh, and now is. The time, man. Read. When the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The true worships shall worship him in spirit and in know the truth, man. Read. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. He seeketh such to worship him. Read. God is a spirit. God is eternal, man. No beginning or no ending. Read. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. They, they that worship him must worship him in spirit. Most of you don't understand. You got to be born again. Man. You got to be born again in the spirit, man. And in truth, man, and that's the revealing of Yah through the scriptures. You have to be, be born again and be retired, man. This thing here is, is just simple. Everything else that they out there pushing it is just keep you keep you just lost. 
You'll never catch no understanding. And I and these people's in probably in here that been to church all their life don't remember nothing they was in there getting. Man. <laughs> That's a fact. I don't remember nothing. Man. I don't they bring out two precepts and they go to dancing and it's just a circus in there. <laughs> you know, preacher get the running across the stage. <laughs> Sister Betty over there, she running up and down there. You know, I was listening at that man catching the Holy Ghost and stuff. I just always just remember, I keep thinking, man, why is this certain sister, man? What's she doing right? <laughs> Same sister be at home, <laughs> giving hell to the neighborhood, man. Yeah. She come into church, boy, she holy didn't die in it. As soon as she pull out the parking lot, she like Snoop Dogg looking at this. <laughs> Wish somebody would pull out in front of me. <laughs> John 6 and 63. See, when you understand the spirit is eternal, it's life. Read this. St. John chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickens. It's the spirit, man. The spirit is the word of Yah. And, that, and, and when it quickens you, it brings you back to life. It, it restores you to who you were. See, we've been dummy down so long, man, we low. Right. Our conversations is low. Mm. Our ways are low. Christ is trying to bring us back above. That's right. Read. The flesh profit is nothing. See, the way that you was thinking, the corner-minded person that you was, what you was, it, it don't profit nothing. Read. The words that I speak unto you. The word that the most high, the scriptures that we teach, read. They are spirit. Read on. And they are life. These things here bring us back, man. They bring us back to life. And this Bible, is, it's like that uh, medicine bag, you know, that IV they stick in your arm. Some of you need to just stick it in your arm, man. Keep it, don't, don't. And a lot of times, man, when you're going through things, don't, don't, don't separate yourself from your Bible. Galatians 5 and 16, don't separate yourself from the Bible, man. See, now we, we're being taught in the, in, in the right spirit. Read this out. Uh, Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit. You got to walk in the presence of Yah. Are you seeking that eternal life? Are your name written in the book of life? These things that you're seeking, and I go back to, if you're not seeking these things, then why are you here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you here for? You have to examine in yourself what you're seeking. Read. And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You're not going to fulfill that old man, that old woman. You're going to get away from those things. Jump down to verse 25. Verse 25. If we live in the spirit. If we live in the spirit, man. Read. Let us also walk in the spirit. We have to have the same walk. We have to have the same love. Right. The same passion. The same joy. We have to have all these things, man. Peace. Long suffering. You know, some of us, we'll get on each other's nerve, but, you know, we don't have to see each other every day. Some of us can't see each other for a couple hours. We ready to depart. True statement. We got to learn, man, that dealing with each other's patient, man. You always know if you was at school, somebody in class used to get on your nerve. Somebody in there talking too much or somebody in there doing too much. You know, I know I did too much. I know one time the teacher locked herself out the room. We didn't even open the door for her. <laughs> we just sat like this and looked at her. <laughs> she just ain't got to pay people's attention all the time. Well, when she came back, our hand was cramped. Boy, she gave us so much writing. But just life experience. Back to First John. Four and three. You know, we was... Scottish children, but you know, I ain't let that get home to my dad. <laughs> Boy, what you doing? See, certain things you can't let get back to the house. Nah, thanks. <laughs> 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 Gotta be a little wise in this world. Read this up. Uh, First John, chapter 4 and verse 3. And every spirit that confesses not that Christ has come in the flesh. You say Christ has already come the second time to every first, every every spirit. See, a lot of these people thinking Christ is coming here to restore them again. So they're looking for the second time coming. How's how are we gonna get built up with their doctrine? 
They're not really teaching us Christ. That's why when you see any of these brothers out here with fringes on, I seen a brother with Zeke on. You know, he was, we walked to the car. He he walked right behind us. His car was almost on the other side of the parking lot. He didn't even speak. But by the time I seen him, he had his back turned. I ain't finna chase nobody down. I know he seen the fringes on. But when I see brothers and sisters out there, all I do is try to show them love. Nobody, I, you know, I heard Ark talking about, yeah, we catch them out there with pants on. You're going to get this strip. They don't even know to put a dress on yet. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got a beard on. Give me that precept, man. <laughs> Let me cut him right quick. So we destroying him, not building him. Sure. See, now we rebuilding peoples. But read up. Uh, it's not of God. It's not of God, man. Read. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. These are, we had that same spirit on us at one time. Read. Whereof ye have heard that it should come. It should come, read. And even now already is it in the world. All that false teaching, all them different doctrines, this stuff is in the world now. These things are in the world now. Understand these things, man. Let us, give me Philippians 2 and 7. Let us get built up spiritually. Know Christ. Have a relationship. You know, Christians tell you they already got a relationship. Israelites tell you the same thing. Let me show you something about Christ. Read this. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 7. But made himself of no reputation. When you're understanding the, the Most High and, and the Son, they're not here to make themselves of no they're not trying to make a name, but Christ's name had to be elevated because of his righteousness. Read. And took upon him the form of a servant. Took upon him the form of a servant. Read. And was made in the likeness of men. I don't understand all these miracles that they're hollering about, and they still hate it. All these people that was taught to crucify, you know, when he was there, when they say he was up on a cross, crucify him. Is that what he was really up on a cross? Straight up. Everything we was fed was just lies. We never got no truth out of out of out of nothing that was passed down for us. What is all this moving around? What's going on? <laughs> Very distracted. Read. And being found in fashion as a man. Fa being found in fashion as a man. Read. He humbled himself. He what? Humbled himself. That's what we don't like doing. Read. And became obedient unto death. He became obedient unto death. That's why I tell you, death is not the end of life. Read. Even the death of the cross. The death of the truth. Read. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Elevated him. Read. That at the name of Christ every knee should bow. Every knee. Every person. Read. Of things in heaven and things in earth. Keep reading. And things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Every everyone should be understanding these things now. This is not a book of uh, fantasy. It's a book of knowledge. It, we're here to just to teach you Christ, teach you about what's in the in the Bible, give you understanding how to build yourself. Study it. You go home, study to show thyself approved. That's why you go home and you read. That's why I say, Blessed is he that read it. This is here just to build you up. We're not here killing you like we once were. Man. I'm telling you the truth. This is a change. We have repented and, and been converted. And a lot of people, they don't want that. Back to 1 John, where we at? Give me 1 John 2 and 18. Read this. First John chapter 2 and verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. It's the last hours. Read. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come. Read on. Even now are there many Antichrists. This is talking about what you're seeing with these camps now. You're seeing with these brothers so many different doctrines. Some brothers don't like the New Testament. They just go by the old. So if they're going by the old, they should be sacrificing turtle doves and things like that. That's right. They're not, going, they're not doing any of those things. Well, how do they repent from them sins now? We got Christ. That's right. We got grace. That's right. You know not to get caught in your sins. Your sins will take you away. That's right. 
Read. Whereby we know that it is the last time. We know these are the last days. Read. They went out from us. They went out from us. Read. But they were not of us. They was not true believers. Read. For if they had been of us, they would have been true believers. Read. They would no doubt have continued with us. Read on. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. When you understand some some of y'all next year we won't see. This is how we this is how you may know. <laughs> By your fruit. Yes, this is how. See, is Christ going to pass over you next year? And when y'all understand that passing over, man, I see him talking about he killed all the little children, all the firstborn. Come on, man. I seen somebody put that in there. It was like, why well, just didn't kill Pharaoh? That would have mm -hmm. killed it all, wouldn't it? That's right. Some allegories, man. We got to go in there. It's a lot, a lot of more teaching, man. Let me out. tell you something. A lot of y'all don't know the work that have to be put in, man, because, you know, everything is set up to keep misleading you. This is why I say this is a spiritual thing. A lot of carnal minds, they can't, they can't accept it because they set in their ways. Back to 1 John 4 and 4. Just, just, just listen. Read the book, man, and take your time. Let me tell you something. Once we start understanding, and, and you know, I got this my other Bible, this Geneva. Uh, I was looking at her and um, telling you about the Geneva was the first translation from the Hebrew and Greek, not the King James. Right. <laughs> See, there's a lot of information we just don't be having. This is a bad book here. Bring it out. It'll right. tell you in Deuteronomy 28, 68, we sold ourselves. A lot of people still selling themselves, ain't they? That's Damn. right. Damn. See, we go back. You know, these things we should be examining. King James still a good Bible, but there's a little bones to pick. That's right. That's, you know, you know, a lot of people you transfer over to this, man. This early English. It, it'll confuse you, the Roman numbers and stuff. It's a it's a di it's a different learning step, but read this up. First John chapter four and verse four. Read. Ye are of God, little children. Ye are of God, little children. Read. And have overcome them. See, you overcome these things, man. These lies, this this philosophies, the deceptions. Read. Because greater is He that is in you. Greater is the Spirit of Christ that is in you, the Spirit of Eternal. Read. Than He that is in the world. That the that the that the man that's in the world, man. A lot of y'all don't know y'all y'all are truly blessed today. Mm -hmm. To see the beautiful man, a lot of y'all ain't really just look around. How they transform it in here, man, from the black and gold to look at the white sea covers. Some of y'all just ain't taking it in, man. I keep telling you, man, this 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 that bread, this this food with 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 seasoning on it tastes good. Tastes good, man. But give me John sixteen thirteen. It tastes good, man, to kind of see the progression. You know, I remember, like I tell people, when we had our first uh, Feast of Tabernacle. We had it in somebody's backyard. We just had a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sis says she know. <laughs> Wait, your wife in the uh, Okay, she know. But, man, read this up. Uh, St. John, chapter 16, verse 13. How be it when he... The spirit of truth is come. Read on. He will guide you into all truth. This thing of here, man, the spirit will guide you. The spirit will guide you. That's right. Read. For he shall not speak of himself. Read on. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me. He say what? He shall glorify me. Read. For he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. He say, he shall receive of my spirit and teach it unto you. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Give me Ezekiel 36 and 26. And you understand somebody like, uh, what was the uh, uh, prophet's teaching, man? They were just pulling from the Old Testament. They were just pulling from the Old. This is where you get built up at. Read this. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 26. 
a new heart. He said, what? A new heart. Say, I'm going to give you a new mind. Read. Also will I give you. Read on. And a new spirit. And you're going to be born again. Read. Will I put within you. Read on. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. He said, I'm going to take away that stubbornness and rebellious that you have in you. Read. And I will give you a heart of flesh. He said, I'm going to give you a heart of flesh. My tender, my tender towards Yah and his ways of righteous living. Your mind tender towards Yah and his ways of living. Righteous living. He's going to give you that in that flesh. Read. And I will put my spirit within you. He said, I'm going to give you that eternal life. Read. And cause you to walk in my statutes. He said, I'm going to cause you to walk in my statutes. Read. And you shall keep my judgments and do them. He said, you shall keep them laws and do them. Building you back up. Back to 1 John 4 and 5. It's going to be a time where... A lot of y'all gonna just be able to come in, man. It's gonna be such a beautiful song. Everybody gonna be in the same spirit. See, a lot of you out there going through things today, but you're not taking that time out, man, to try to get the understanding and get your life right. You have time, but you know, some of you don't understand from 20 to 30 is only but 3,600 days. You don't really have that long, man, to get things right. You go from 20 to 30 before you even sneeze. You be in the bed at 30 and wake up at 40. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it go by fast. See, some of us know we used to be out there, you know, doing the electric slide and stuff. Some of us, we just be doing the slide, not the electric. <laughs> Read this, uh. Right? First John, chapter 4 and verse 5. They are of the world. See, they are these are these other ones, they are of the world. Read. Really. Therefore speak they of the world. These things they they still speaking the things of their lies and the deception that the world teaches them. Read. And the world heareth them. And see, the world will hear them. Read. We are of God. See, we follow the Messiah. Read. He that knoweth God heareth us. See, he that knows the Messiah heareth us. Read. He that is not of God heareth not us. See, they don't hear us. Read. Heareth by, hereby know we the spirit of truth. We know the spirit of truth. Read. And the spirit of error. Think about these things, man. Spirit of error is is is, is major. It's in a lot of peoples. Yeah. Because that's what we are, what we've been taught all our lives. Your whole life has been programmed for you. They have a system set up to take you and do and, and, and have you think the way that they want you to think. Sure. How many of us, before Christmas came here, we was already saving up? See, for the, fast, for the feast days come up, we don't be thinking about that. We don't even know. But you should start knowing these high holy days. You should start knowing when the new moon coming in. You should start participating more. Stop dealing with dead works start doing these things it makes it easier it makes it easy to see some of you on facebook posting these things righteous things you got to get out of dead works man dead works is not doing no works you got faith but no works galatians 4 and 5 start elevating your you gotta fight yourself sometimes you gotta fight yourself See, it's a war in your mind. Your mind is, 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 is so deluded with lies and deception that it's hard for you to even think. You got to fight these, 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 these things in your head. These demons that they program in you. It's a fight. Every day you get up and you fight. And you're going to get the victory. Read. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 5. To redeem them that were under the law. To restore them was up a subject to the judgment. Read. That we might receive the adoption of sons. The new relations of the trust and love of Christ, man. The new relations. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for these things, man. Everyone are, was at one point of time. Yes, sir. Romans 8 and 14. Let's do these things. It's not hard. Read this. Romans chapter 8 and verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God. Everybody's seeking that eternal life. Read. They are the sons of God. We're going to be the sons of God, the daughters of God. Read. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage akin to fear. And that you know when you're receiving that spirit of bondage, man, you're still under that old Pharisee doctrine. That will keep you in fear, man. Y'all free today. Y'all not up under that under them lies anymore, man. Y'all under Christ. 
Read. But ye have received the spirit of adoption. That you've been born again. Read. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Read on. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Keep reading. And if children, then heirs. Then what? Heirs. Partakers of the promise of Yah. Read. Heirs of God. Read on. And joint heirs with Christ. Keep reading. If so be that we suffer with him. That we what? Suffer with him. We got to identify with him. Read. That we may be also glorified together. Purific pur purification of sin, man. This is how we overcome. We overcome these things, man. They're going to see. they seeing it now. Yes, sir. It's small samples, man. You got to understand, people that, that hate us, they, they don't want this getting out. They don't want this truth getting out. They don't want Christ to be known. But that some people's spirit don't even know that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Just like you don't know what you've been doing your whole life. You've been programmed just to go work in a factory and work a keyboard, answer a telephone. But you've never been told the Constitution. Man. You don't know anything about this system. Don't know when the birth certificate was established, social security. You don't know nothing. Think about it. Let's get the joy. John 15 and 10. We coming out of here. That joy, that joy, what we see, that peace, that happy house, not happy wife, happy house. Some people want a happy wife. You're told you're going to find your, your torso in a ditch somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you want that happy house. Read this. Uh, St. John, chapter 15 and verse 10. This is how we seek it. Read. If you keep my commandments. He say, if you keep them, read. You shall abide in my love. See, you're going to abide. You're going to live in his love. Read. Even as I have kept my father's commandments. Read on. And abide in his love. Keep reading. These things have I spoken unto you. That my joy might remain in you. My joy, my happiness, man, read. And that your joy might be full. Your good fortune might be full. These things, all we got to do is follow these steps. Romans 10 and 9. Romans 10 and 9. That's all we got to do. This thing is so simple, man. That's why it calls little children. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bring it out. Do it. A little child need to know uh, uh, geometry? Nah. Do you even use geometry anymore? <laughs> Who use algebra? You be at work, I got to divide these boxes into shipping this on the crate. <laughs> you might use them when you drive trucks, you know, I'm gonna time these miles time, how much I make it. <laughs> Think about it, man, we don't need none of this stuff, but read. Romans chapter 10 and verse nine. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord, Christ, and shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. These are the things, man. Confess. Christ has already came here, man. Purify us, sanctify us, man. Cleanse us. Restore us back to who we were. Read. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. See, with the mind. You believe unto righteousness, read. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Keep reading. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. It say for whosoever. Now, is, this is not just a, a, a exclusive club. Can nobody else get in? This is for everybody, man. That's right. Read. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Read that for the same what? For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Read on. For the same Lord over all. Over what? Over all. Over what? Over all. Read. Is rich unto all that call upon unto him. Unto all that call upon him. Read it out. Read. For whoso shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be what? Shall be saved. Man, you, you, you out here, man. <laughs> Segregating people, man. Think about this. When... Everyone got to be taught, man. Because if not, they're going to still believe in the lie. Man, bring it out. They're going to still believe in lies. Philippians 2 and 13. Take this medicine, man. It's good. You know, you got people, man, I hate the way. It, what did they do to you? If you don't know history, you're going to make the same mistakes over and over. Okay. 
Think about it. Read this out. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 13. For it is God which worketh in you. Both, it, it is God that worketh in you. Read. Both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Of his good pressure. Press, 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 Let's read it again. For it is God pleasure. which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. His good pleasure, man. Spiritual wisdom and understanding, man. That's how we do his good pleasure, man. That's how we make, elevate his name. Show the people the truth. Show the people the way. Give me Romans 15 and 13. Read this. Romans chapter 15 and verse 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. These are the things, these are the steps we need to take. Ephesians 5 and 1. Ephesians 5 and 1. Read this up. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 1. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Be, why is it calling us children? We don't have, to, see, we, we've been inundated with so much garbage, man. We have to come back and be reborn again, That's be right. retired again. That's right. Read. And walk in love. And it say what? And walk in love. Are you seeing the things that's going on with the with the movement? These brothers walking in love. Read. As Christ also hath loved us. As Christ also hath loved us. So we to teach Christ. Read. And hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling Savior. That was that Passover lamb, man. And that sweet smelling Savior is a righteous spirit. Everybody, it's, this is not hard, man. What's hard is what you've been taught. What's hard is what you don't know. What's easy is, is believing in the word. I salute your brothers out there on the East Coast, man. Uh, I know um, uh, Zia made it out there with him today. Big kind on that, man. Brothers called me yesterday, man. Uh, Hopefully he got down there with the brothers, man. Zeal out there on the East Coast with the brothers, man. Hey, Zeal, we still love you up here, man. Yes, sir. That's right. Lord Will, we'll be coming to see y'all soon, man. Hey, we finna go celebrate. That's right. And have a good time. I pray everybody, man, that you walk in love. <coughs> Hey, if you got anything on your chest, man, you need to talk. Hey, we